Great <laughs> icing. So what'd you call us here for? <laughs> so I would call you guys. I sit on the edge of my seat now. <laughs> Do so no, no, I'm on the edge of my seat. What's um, going on? So I've actually... Don't make me cry, guys. <laughs> I'm trying to hold it in right now. I'm trying to be cool. You'll find we don't ever have to look too far. We don't have to cover up your scars. You're perfect, darling, just the way you are. So before you think to rip yourself apart, open up my heart and you'll find love. Love, love, love. crazy family as you can see I'm in a different setting that's because we rented an Airbnb for the weekend because we have some really really exciting things coming up but first things first so Melinda's boyfriend his name is Isaac he messaged us a couple days ago asking if he can get together with Aaron and I and have a talk and have dinner together so I'm like mm, we all probably know what that means. She could be getting married or I, well, this is my assumption, I guess. I think he's gonna be asking Aaron for his blessing to marry our daughter. I cannot believe that I'm at this stage in my life and that one of my kids could be getting married. Oh, it makes me wanna cry even thinking about it, but I do have a lot of questions for him. Um, I have been talking to Melinda. We have met him quite a few times. So I kind of know where Melinda's at, but I want to get a little more information on just, are they ready? Because they haven't been dating that long. And what does this look like? And I just, oh, I have so many questions going on in my mind. Um, we had a house inspection on our house in St. John. So Aaron stayed a little bit longer. So he will be here in a few minutes. And then Melinda and Isaac will be coming. We'll be making dinner. And then we'll see how the conversation goes from there. So let's get this started. No marriage. End of discussion. I don't approve. I love Isaac, but marriage isn't in the cards yet. Isaac's a really nice guy, but they have been only dating for two months. That's not long enough. She doesn't get to get married. No, never. She's never getting married. But do you believe in love at first sight? Yes. No. Or happily ever after? No. Yes. Dad has some really good questions for him, so we'll see how that conversation goes. Uh, what do you think, Savannah? I object. They have only been dating for two months. But. Mom, two months. Yeah, Jared and Shelly only dated for three months before they got married. And look at their happily ever after. She proved You think there. about those questions. Is there something he could say or do tonight that you think that they would be ready for marriage? Maybe. Okay. He says I get to pick his next girlfriend and that they're gonna get married. What? <laughs> I didn't say that. Part. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Yes. Anyway, did. marriage is not in the cards. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So nervous because I I was anticipating this moment since 17 years ago when I got, first got married to Aaron. He proposed to me with his grandma's ring, and it meant the world to me because his grandma gave him the ring and um, to propose to me, and that meant the world to me. And I always dreamed of passing this on to one of my kids in the future. So Melinda is my first kid to get married, so. <sighs> okay, but it's kind of a secret because I don't know if he's been ring shopping and I don't even know at the end of this if he doesn't even ask our blessing if this is even a thing. But I brought the ring just in case because it's just so special. It is, so it's Aaron's grandma's ring which would be Melinda's great grandma and he has no idea, she has no idea that I, that I even have this ring. I haven't talked to him about it but but if he's already got a ring, then I'm just gonna like slip it back in my pocket and not even talk about it because I don't want to ruin his moment and it's just like all these emotions going on, so. Ah. I am so, so excited for Melinda and I'm so happy that she's finally found someone that she is ready to, well, might be ready to marry and will, I don't know, just spend the rest of her life with him and I don't know, I'm so excited for Melinda and I think he's such a good guy and I like him and our whole family likes him so I'm really excited for Melinda. But I also thought Hallie was gonna be the first one to get married but that- I mean, I guess we'll see depending on how tonight goes. <laughs> 
All right, guys, do you think it's obvious? Yes. <laughs> Should I keep it in my pocket? No, no I'll hang on to it. Mine. Mine's more loose. Okay, but are you going to give it to me when the time is yes, right? Yes, I'll get it. No, I can get really? on to it. No, you won't give it to me. Wait, no. Wait, no, 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 no. See, look. Okay, there we go. There we go. Oh, look, I have AirPods. I can switch it out and it would disguise it. Alright, well, Linda should be here any minute. So let's go out and wait and say hi. It, it occurred to me that this is my first child that might be going through something like that. So I know. I'm a little nervous. I don't know what to do. don't know what to say. What do you think of him and Melinda together? I think they make a cute couple. What's your favorite thing about Isaac? It's funny and he knows how to cook breakfast. Yeah. What's your favorite thing that he cooks? Eggs. Eggs. I'm going to look like my How dad. are you doing? Uh, pretty good, pretty good. I'm, I'm doing awesome. Yeah. Are you guys ready to cook for us? Yes, I'm master chef and secondary chef, right? Assistant chef. We're, we're gonna flip that tonight. Master <laughs> chef, sous chef. What are you gonna be making? Mm, steak. I want a steak. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. I, I need a good, good home cooked steak. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's do it. All right, go to the store. You know, I think you're gonna come along things in your relationship a lot that. You know, either you're gonna have struggles or she's gonna have struggles or it's gonna cause contention and it's it's awesome to see that you guys are able to work it out, you know what I mean? Yeah. And that's really good. I thought I think it'd be very beneficial for both of us to do like um, both like therapy, you know, like uh, or what is it called? Not therapy, but um, like a couples counseling. Yeah, a couples counseling. Driving down here I was thinking to myself like when I was your age and wanting to talk to Crystal's parents about getting more serious and everything like that. And I remember being so nervous. I understand what you're going through, man. I get it. I'll try not to make it too hard on you. I get it. I just want one woman, you know what I mean, for the rest of my life. To do it like forever, eternity. I feel the same way about Crystal. <laughs> How are you feeling about Isaac and like everything going on? I know we've talked a lot about it, but yeah. where are you right now with it? I love this boy. <laughs> <laughs> I love this man. <laughs> I truly do. Even though it's been in a short amount of time, I just feel like he showed me so much in such a little time with Jamie and Scarlett. Like that was like my number one thing. Like he knows that now they are a package. And if you can't accept that package, then you can't be with me. Because in the past, I've actually had a boyfriend that he couldn't even say, accept Scarlett. And I was just like, you're not the one for me. No. That's like a hard no. Like, yeah. He's just so great. He's kind, he's sweet. He, I, I even like when he like comes and makes breakfast for me. Like. It's not about like always like giving gifts, it's like what they do for you yeah. in shows. And the number one thing as well that I've seen him do for me is the communication and the understanding. Like if we're not always going to agree on everything and that's okay, like you're going to have your different opinion. Yeah. But at the end of the day, he comes and talks about it and we come to like a conclusion. And that's what I like and that's what I've always wanted in a relationship. Oh, I love that. Yeah, she called me and she was like, Mom, he communicated, he talked, he didn't get mad and like put himself above me or put me down or belittle me or like, and it was all this like, I love that. Like that's always what I've wanted for you in like a relationship is like yeah. that, they put themselves beside you, like they're your partnership. Yeah. Your number one thing that he didn't make me feel like you're wrong, you're wrong, like I'm right type of deal. Yeah. And I was just like, wow, like this is what a relationship should feel like. This is yes. all I've ever asked from a boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> like that. I mean, like you start to think like it might be crazy. If I thought like, what am I doing wrong? Yeah. You know? Yeah. And you always tell me like, no, you're not. 
I'm right. like, you're not doing anything wrong. They should be able to communicate without getting mad and yelling at you or putting right. you down or acting like they're better or their opinion's right and yours is wrong because that's not how it works and that's not how relationships work. Like it should be, you have your opinions, I have my opinions, let's come together and work through it. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, and I love like you have that. A little side note that made me feel like when I come to my parents, they are, I feel like they are, they are the type of parents that will be like, no, you are wrong, or yes. Yeah, we will tell her when she's wrong. Right. <laughs> the parents that are just always like babying or sugarcoating things and telling their kids like, my kid doesn't do anything. I'm just like, I'm just glad I have those. <laughs> I don't know if that sounds horrible. Like, no, that no, right. that's good. It's true, because I feel like None of us are right 100% of the time. Like, we all right. are going to make mistakes. We're all going to go through our hard times. You know what I mean? And I always wanted you to have a successful, like, happy relationship. And in order to have that, you have to admit when you're wrong sometimes. Yes, like, you, you do. do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like, you're at fault. And that's okay. And it's okay to apologize. And it's okay to make mistakes. Right. You know? So that was, like, the awe moment where I'm just like, if we can do this, we can get through anything. Oh, I love that. And it was like so big again, like you accept Jamie and Scarlett. And he was like, yeah. On the Q&A video, he was like, yeah, like I knew that. And he was like, I'm okay with that. And I was like, like really? I'm okay. okay. And I just like, after saying that and just like showing it after the fact, because like always like actions speak louder than words. True. Like, it really does. So like, true. It's just like everyone I feel like has this checklist in the head. It's like, check, check. <laughs> okay, so it leads me to my next part. If he asked you to marry him, what are you going to say? Like, are you ready for that? Like, do you feel... You know, like, people will be like, oh my gosh, that's so soon, but... I thought that at first. I was like, this is so soon, but then you would call me with all these things and talk and like, and I'm like, it just feels right. Like, it feels like everything's like, just fitting. Know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so go ahead. What are you going to say? I would say yes. You like, I would just like... This, this feels like the right guy, and I don't think I've ever... You've never said that, ever. And I have to say, any of your boyfriends in the past, like, had you come to me and been like, hey, I want to marry him, like, I would have straight out told you, like, Are maybe you, you need sure? to rethink about that. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, this is the first one that I would be like, you know what, like, I feel like it's right, too. Like, and I, I've never felt like that for you before, you know, and in a relationship, so it's like... Uh, it makes me happy that you found like that, you know. The woman working at the butcher shop, um, she was so nice and gave us a bunch of free bacon. The problem that we run into is because we're at an Airbnb or Verbo, we don't have anything to attach the bacon to the meat with. Oh, like toothpicks? Yeah, we don't have any toothpicks. So we may just cook the bacon separately. The boys headed all the way to the store and got everything else. They got salsa, but they didn't get any chips. They didn't get any chips. <laughs> so Melinda and Hallie are going to run to the store to get some chips. Yeah, right we'll be right back. Oh, but look at this. For beginners. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She used half a cup and I just used like four cups, but I'm like guessing because mine's like four times the amount, maybe I should have just done two cups, you know? I think it'll be alright. Great idea. So what'd you call us here for? <laughs> so I would call you guys and you sit on the edge of my seat now. <laughs> I'm, so no, I'm on the edge of my seat. <laughs> um, so I've actually called you guys because I would like to um, formally, I guess, ask you, uh, you for your daughter's hand in marriage. I truly love her with all my heart, and I would like to marry her. Aww. Aww. So what's your, what's your favorite thing about Melinda? It's probably one of my, because uh, there's so many great qualities that she has. She has a lot of strength, um, inner, inner strength, and she's pretty physically strong too. <laughs> that's a surprise, she's very strong. <laughs> uh, but she's a very strong woman, and that's really what I like so much about her. And she's very strong-willed, she's very smart. And there's a, a lot of great qualities, and like everything that I can even think of, like she she has it, you know. Um, 
and it's like she's willing to put forth effort so much like effort into like the hobbies all we have so many similar hobbies and she's like yeah uh, you know i want to go to the gym she's like cool you know and then, so i gotta like teach her things but she's willing to learn and that's like so cool because even though it's hard it's not easy she she's willing to do that and i also love how like whenever there is something that comes up like we don't see eye to eye like we can talk about it and i believe that's so important in a relationship and I really love that she's like, hey, let's talk about it real quick. Let's get over it. You know, like we'll work through it. And she's willing to work through it. So what does marriage mean to you? Marriage for me is, uh, you know, not everyone's views are the same, but because um, I'm LDS and you, know, you guys are LDS as yeah. well. So uh, to me, marriage is for eternity. This life is just a little blimp in eternity. And um, so I'm really in it for the long, eternity, you know, infinity <laughs> and <Forever>. beyond. <laughs> yeah. And so I'm in it forever. And I would like a, a temple marriage to be sealed. Um, to, you know, All right, you ask questions. <sighs> Coke or Pepsi? <laughs> 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 I try to make it easy. <sighs> <laughs> Don't be that. <laughs> Don't make me wear the pants. Really. <laughs> you already do. I'm just kidding. I I'm really happy with um, with you. I've gotten to know you quite a bit recently. We've had a lot of good deep talks. I like where your head's at. I like where you're headed. I like your goals. Um, yeah, I look forward calling you my son-in-law. So are you giving him your blessing? I'm giving you my blessing. Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh. So good. Are you giving him your blessing? I'm giving you my blessing. Yes. I, there's so many qualities that I love that you bring to yours and Melinda's relationship. As you know, Melinda and I are super close. Yes. And she calls and talks to me all the time. And one of the things she said was, she's like, mom, I can talk to him. Like I can open up, I can express how I'm feeling and he doesn't get defensive or try to like, you know, put me down or different things. She's like, he'll hold my hand and he'll say, I understand your point of view. And, and then vice versa, like she's like, and I understand where he's coming from on things. And I love that we can just have that open communication because that was huge for her. And that's not something that she's been able to find in a relationship. And also that you're so accepting of Scarlett and Jamie because that a lot of people would call it baggage or would call it all these different things and wouldn't accept, you know, that in her life. And I love that that you accept that and that you, you know, that yeah. you're just so willing and open and just the communication and I just see you guys together and it's like what I've always wanted for Melinda and I've always tried not to cry. <laughs> I just always wanted her to be happy and wanted her to have, you know, a husband that I have. Like he's so supportive and lets me be me and, and Melinda has expressed that you let her be her and that you just support her in that and that she wants to support you in that. I must say I through talking to you, with you tonight and you know cooking and everything and, and hearing how you approach yours and Melinda's relationship, I truly appreciate that you do let each other be your individual selves, but you found a place to be together as well. And I think that's huge. It's huge. After being married for coming up on eighteen years. Oh wow, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's you know, there's times where you you have your individuality, but you also are together. And I think you two complement each other very well. And I'm super excited for you guys. So do you think she's going to say yes or no? <laughs> I hope, yes, I hope she's going to say yes. Have you thought okay. about how you're going to propose? I would love like uh, a, a princess uh, style theme. I don't know what to do yet or anything. Maybe like a, a carriage, you know, like a horse and carriage. Aww. Something super sweet that she would never forget, you know, um, because I, I truly love her and she's truly one of a kind. And I, I love her with all my heart and I, I want to be able to make it like an unforgettable moment. Okay, Have you gone so ring shopping yet? No, no. <laughs> okay. I'm not. That's the right answer. I'm just kidding. Because, wait, wait. Let me explain. Okay, so Aaron and I got married at a really, really young age. And, um, and at that time, I mean, I was still in high school when we got engaged. And 
we didn't have like a ton of money. We didn't have, you know what I mean, all the stuff. And his grandma knew that he wanted to propose. And so she gave him a ring and, um, and that's the ring that he proposed to me with. And, you know, and then once we like got going, like, you know, I got the ring that I really, really love and that that's the ring we got married with. But that ring has always been super special to me. And it's always been something that I dreamed of passing on to my children in the future or my child or whichever one got married first, because I didn't know I'd have this many, but. <laughs> <laughs> But I would like to, if you're okay with it, give you the ring to be able to propose to Melinda with. And here, let me see it. It's very vintage. And um, this ring is super special, not only because it's her great grandma's ring, but um, that, I don't know if you can tell, but the cut on it has it's kind of like a princess cut which is kind of ironic because that's the theme that you want to use that's when you said that i was like are you kidding me this ring is so perfect but also that she can pass it on to your guys as kids in the future and that's something that you guys can have as an heirloom to pass on so. that means a lot that means a lot Oh, with that, I give you our blessing. <laughs> Isaac, do you accept this ring? <laughs> yeah. You should love it. Too. Yeah. Man, don't make me cry, guys. <laughs> I'm trying to hold it in right now. I'm trying to be cool. Okay. <sighs> okay. The one thing that I ask is just make it memorable. Yeah. And I think you that's where you're headed, so. I think you're going to do an amazing job. And I'm so you're excited for you guys. You're a great husband, and I'm excited to have you as a son-in-law. Happy birthday, Mom. Happy birthday, Mom. Happy birthday, Mom. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. We get up on the wedding. I'm so happy. Thanks, guys. I'm gonna have another older brother. Yes, oh! This is really cool. <laughs> this is like what I've, what I've been praying for for years. And then, and then, so like I've been praying for Melinda for like years and I've been like so, like when is this woman gonna finally come in my life? You know, like I've been waiting for the right woman for so long and she's I guess, the biggest blessing I've ever had in my life. Well, you know you marry her, you marry the whole family. Right? So, yeah, and you're like all of us. <laughs> And what a perfect family! Like I've always felt like an or like an orphan, you know. I always felt like a like like no one ever. <laughs> You'll never be alone in this family, that's for sure. <laughs> she's like, she's like, yeah, I had to come in and give you the hug. See, that that's what you, you deserve this because you did wait, and that's probably like the biggest lesson you can learn is patience is a virtue. Like. Yeah. When you have that patience and you're willing to wait for that person, it makes it even better. So, proud. Thank so, you. do you give them your blessing too? Yes, I do. Yeah, I do. Oh. Of course, I do. Thank you. All right, well, we've left Melinda watching the food, so everybody <laughs> got to keep it sure. quiet so we can get this planned, okay? Uh, Melinda watching the food, it's going to burn. Wow, my goodness. Baby!